In this video, I'm gonna show you a short but really effective pre-run glute warm-up that you can use to get those butt muscles working before your next run. Okay, so let's start out with a little bit of work to start loosening those hips up. Now, I mentioned obviously your glutes, but it's important that we also work on your hip flexors because tight hip flexors can actually stop you from being able to use your glutes effectively. So to begin with, we're gonna elevate the front foot onto what could be a chair or a park bench. And from here, we're not gonna hold a static hip flexor stretch. Rather, what I'm gonna ask you to do is think about the position of your pelvis. So imagine your pelvis is a bowl of water. I want you to, in this position, stand tall and squeeze your butt. And imagine you're tipping the water out of the back of the bowl. So your pelvis is tucking underneath you here. You'll feel a momentary stretch through the top of those hip flexors and then relax. Squeeze and relax. And we're gonna work through just 20 of these little pulses. One second on, one second off. We're gonna do 20 of those on the left, 20 of those on the right, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. Now, with this, it's important that you, you're not set up with your foot too close underneath you. We need you to have this leg back behind you to get you in a little bit of hip extension. But you should feel that as you squeeze your butt, yes, you feel the hip flexor stretch, but you start to feel those glute muscles working. And it's one second on, one second off. Don't forget, 20 times through, both legs. I'm gonna quickly move on to the next exercise though. The next exercise is hip circles. Now, I'm gonna start out on the floor, kneeling in all fours here. I want to think about, again, we're gonna use this right hip now that those hip flexors are a little bit more relaxed. We're gonna think about making big movements, isolating the hip joint itself. So I'm not asking you to move your whole body. I simply want you to think about concentrating on the movement coming from that hip. So in this all fours position, first movement is knee towards your elbow. Then it's knee out to the side like you're a dog, peeing on a lamppost. And then you're kicking the leg back straight. In, out to the side, kick back. Going to work through 10 of those going one way around. And then once you've done 10 of those, we revert and reverse the exercise. So we go from back here, out to the side, knee to elbow, straight back. Now, every time we come to this straight back position, I want you to think about squeezing your butt. I want you to think about engaging those glutes, getting those butt muscles working, so that we're consciously beginning to switch them on. Now, once you've done 10 in each direction, move on to the other leg. Do that two or three times through, depending on how much time you have. From there, we're gonna then move into a really simple little exercise, little air squat that again, will get those glutes working for a bit more of a loaded range of motion. So from here, feet about shoulder width apart, I want to show you from side on so you can see the movements of the hips. Shoulder width apart, I want you to push your hands forwards as you sit your butt back, going down to about parallel. Then as you come up, I want you to consciously, again, engage your glutes, squeeze your butt, and just thrust forwards. It's not a lean back, but you're going to complete the top of the movement. You're going to clench. Come down and clench. Down and clench. I want you to work through consciously the top of that movement, feeling like it's a strong, powerful thrust forwards with the hips. You're gonna work through 20 of these, and by the time you've done 20 of these little thrusts, consciously squeezing your butt as you push your hips forwards, you should really feel those glutes working. Once you've done two sets of those, you're good to go. So, it's important that, given how often, as runners, we're told we need to use our glutes by our physios, Important we spend a little bit of time working through this kind of workout before we run. If you want to find out how to use your glutes while you're running, check out the video over here.